going on everybody? Joe here. I just wanted to show you a little bit about the nutritional habit counseling coaching that we offer. Um, so this is basically a lesson. I'm going to read the whole lesson to show you actually what you do every day. And so I'm seeing a lot of people saying, oh, I don't really have time for this. Let's see how long I can take to read this lesson. Today is about carb continuum. Basically, build a solid foundation of smart carb choices one step at a time. So 30 seconds, let's go. So yesterday you learned about making smarter carb choices. Here's a quick reminder. Smart carbs are carbs that are health-promoting, slow-digesting, and nutrient-rich. The smart carb list. These carbs are high-grade fuels for the elegant and fine machine that is your body. Smart carbs include fruit, fresh or frozen, starchy tubers such as t potatoes, sweet potatoes, artichokes, yucca, cassava, tapioca, etc. Other starchy fruits and vegetables such as plantains or sweet winter squashes, example of butternut, buttercup, kaboka, maybe said that wrong, whole minimally processed grains such as quinoa, brown or wild rice, slow cooking oats, buckwheat, sprouted grains, etc. Beans and legumes, pictures, not so smart, now not so smart stuff. Stay away a little bit from it. You can still have some, but don't. I'm ad-libbing. Not so smart. These include foods like pastries, such as cakes, cupcakes, muffins, cookies, and bars, including tricky protein and nutrition bars, because you know you can't, re you can't even read some of that shit. Um, I even have a hard time sometimes. Anyway, sweets, candies, chocolate, etc. Hey, it just happened to be Halloween. Sweet drinks, fruit juices, soda. Most fruit juices have very little fruit juice in it. Soda, very pointless. Drink a kombucha or something. Other sweetened drinks, including sports drinks. If you're not training, drink a Gatorade or something like that, you're not going to die. If you're doing a two-hour bike ride, have a damn Gatorade. Sweetened dried fruits, raisins, dried cranberries, banana chips, dried dates or figs, etc. I eat those every day, but in a very, very small amount. And pretty much energy, that's fine, but it's not a handful of them. And pretty much anything that's processed and comes in a bottle, bag, or box. Refined, carbohydrate, refined carbohydrates have almost no fiber or beneficial nutrients. Unlike smart carbs, they subtract the values from our bodies. Subtracting, that's just a bad, I don't really agree with that word, but they're not adding a lot of good stuff to you, so, you know, subtracting is fine. Anyway, you don't feel full, pleasantly satisfied, or well nour nourished when you eat these. You often feel kind of lousy, and worse, you want to eat more, more, more. That's definitely true. Leave these foods for special occasions like dessert after a fancy restaurant meal because you don't do that every single night and a slice of cake on your birthday because your birthday happens once per year. And eat them slowly and enjoy them. Don't throw them down your throat with a spoon as big as my head. Anyway, so what's a smart, smart carb choice again? Keep it simple. More fiber and nutrients plus whole foods equals more value. Less fiber and fewer nutrients plus processing equal less value. Not so smart. Always look to add more value to your nutritional intake. The carb continuum. We don't believe in good or bad foods. We believe in being just a little bit better one step at a time. So do I. Today, I just, just think about how you can make your carb choices a little bit smarter. How could you move one notch along the continuum towards healthier options? And as always, eat everything slowly. I've said this forever. I'm ad-libbing again. But I've said eat slower. Use chopsticks. Use toddler sporks and whatever. Just chill out on trying to shovel stuff into your face and driving down the road eating two McDonald's hamburgers and not being able to digest anything because you're driving on 75 in rush hour traffic or in the morning. Anyway, I added. So I probably added 30 seconds. One smart question. When in doubt, just ask yourself, do these carbs add value to my body? If the answer is yes, then that's a smart carb choice. Awesome. More pictures. Look, pictures. More water, fiber, vitamins, mineral, and phytonutrients. These are nutrients from plants. What's up next? The rest of the week, we'll give you some food and recipe ideas for your smart carbs. What to do today? Number one, nourish your body with smart carb choices. They give you good stuff. Just like I said, nutrients, fiber, water, sustained, slow-burning energy lasts all day. It lasts longer. Number two, move along the carb continuum to a little bit smarter. Think about how you can make today's choices just a little bit more nourishing. Could you grab some fruit instead of a candy bar? Choose brown or wild rice instead of white? Yes. Follow steps that are on the path to change. Keep it simple and make choices that work for you one day at a time, one meal at a time. Number three, experiment. Pay attention to how you feel. Keep eating slowly to 80% full. Notice how your body feels after making particular carb choices.
full of energy, crashing after an hour, satisfied, cravey, could eat the entire refrigerator and punch someone on the way there, etc. Think about how you feel. Relax, stay focused, practice. There's plenty of time to get this habit solid, and we'll return to it later in the program. So if you're a nutrition beginner, just having fun experimenting with new options or substitutions, if you're a higher nutritional age, work on consistency. Until tomorrow. Now, I read that thing, and I've retained almost every bit of information from there. And it's been 5 minutes and 33 seconds, and I ad-libbed at least a minute of that. If you're saying that you don't have five minutes, come on. Come on. I read a lot. There's books everywhere. There's literally books everywhere in my house. I mean, books everywhere. That's not even including stuff here on this internet thing and, and that. Anyway, come on. Step up. Let's get smarter let's get smarter but anyway that's just one day of precision nutrition that we help guide so when you read that and you send me your questions i respond it might take a couple days but they're going to they're going to get back and every day you're learning stuff you're learning 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 on how to make better choices how how to make better habits it's not saying eat 14 garbanzo beans and two pieces of rice, two grains of rice. Because 14 garbanzo beans and two pieces of rice aren't going to make you much better, unless you're out eating absolutely drunk. But the fact of you counting all that stuff is probably going to make you more stressed out every day in the long run. This, what, we, what we're trying to help you with is nutritional habits. What to do in certain places... What to do in every place. Birthday party? Forget about it. <laughs> Just enjoy yourself. Because most people really aren't enjoying yourself. And you're not really enjoying time with other people. Because you're counting almonds. And you're counting garbanzo beans. Come on. It's not that hard. It's not that. It shouldn't be like that. Okay? No one's counting cornflakes in the morning. Let's just, you know. So if you're looking for us to help, like I said, this is a seven minute video now. But I read for five and a half, okay? So now, also, you say, well, I don't have five minutes. <clears throat> a lot of people, when they first started this, they were looking for a five-minute habit. Wow. That, now that I can talk to people about it that have been doing this for a while, five-minute habit is doing this, is reading that. It took me five minutes. Five minutes. And that was, you know, a good amount of information. Good, 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 good information that you can share with other people. Okay, not getting upset, but I'm just saying it's 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 not really that hard. And when you want to change, yes, we can guide you, and uh, coaches can guide you, but you have to want to change yourself. Okay, you have to be the person that wants to make the change. And and other people, it can't, it can't force you. No one's forcing you to eat. No one's forcing you to eat good food. No one's forcing you to eat bad food. You are doing it. It's your choice. This morning, my choice was food. Whatever I ate. It was my choices. No one forced me to do it. So, let's, if you don't have any idea of what to do, we can help you. We can help you. If you have ideas what to do, and maybe even have too much information, and you're trying to add and nitpick and all this other thing, we can help you. Because this will allow you to de-stress and just focus on being a person again and feeling how to eat, okay? Feeling what your body is looking for, not just what you want. There's very big difference between wants and needs, okay? So, anyway, my goal wasn't to give a bunch of information. This is It was just to show you how I could read lessons, and do this stuff, and it's been, this video is under 10 minutes now, so, uh, <laughs> under 10 minutes, and I'm still just fooling around, so anyway, I know you guys got it, I know you ladies can do this, I know you guys can do this, and let's get on it, come on, 
If you need some help, let us know. See ya.